Lisa. There's a mute button on the Apple TV remote. You can hit that. Thank you, dear. <coughs> and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a walk in the vineyard. We're not going to be too long today due to the fact that uh, I'm still nursing. Bit of horses from a really bad bout of strep throat. So I'm going to go sparingly today. And I'm just going to dispense with what we regularly do, which is to tell of how you can help the ministry. Because of my voice. I will, however, I will, however, put it on screen for you. So we want to thank you for joining us for walking the vineyard. And the ways to help, I'm going to leave this up on the screen for a moment. You can see the address to send packages or address to send check or money order. If you so desire, and that's only if the Lord knows you. This is a schedule when we usually broadcast begin until we recover from this. It is wise and it is prudent that I cut back as much as possible. So this is what we usually do. But until I get better, that's our usual schedule, but you will not be seeing that this week and maybe next week. Let me give my voice a chance to recover soon. There's our websites. James Barkus Ministries. Weebly.com. James Barkus Ministries. WordPress.com. And Facebook.com forward slash James Barkus Ministries. You can see us on both YouTube and Facebook through our Facebook page. If you have prayer requests or testimony, jbmprayerlive.com. doing this number for two weeks. And we will keep 
keep doing what we do because we can. So, that being said, I want to thank you for joining us this morning. Now, to save my voice, use one of my prayer services for the sinner's prayer in Romans Road. Um, and we'll start doing it again next time around. And maybe do an independent video of just Romans Road. It is Mother's Day. In about two weeks' time, the Indy 500 will take place. It's a great race. Most people drive on our track. Nearly 200 miles an hour. But we celebrate today the women who give birth to us. Really, you should celebrate every day. Every day, in every way that you can. <coughs> Mothers will not be around forever. They are the foundation that bring us into this world. Ephesians 6, verses 1 through 3. And we are taking a walk in the vineyard today. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother. which is the first commandment with promise 
that it may be well with thee, and thou mayst live long on the earth. I want to go back to the second scripture very quickly. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. I heard on a sermon a while back. Uh, don't be scared of saying that men and women are equal in the eyes of God. And I believe that Christianity has no room for male chauvinism. And men, if you think that way, if you think you are superior to a woman, that it is right to be a woman. Men, if you think it's right to abuse the mothers, then you are committing a blasphemy against the Lord. And you are not honoring your mother. So, as I honor my mother for the long life and reverence and promise that God has for me by honoring my mother and loving her because she brought me into this world. You ever heard the saying, by God, I brought you into this world. By God, I can take you out. That's what some fervent mothers would say. If you're really in trouble, you heard that from your mother. I brought you into this world. By God, I can take you out. Now, when I was in trouble growing up, yes, I heard that. But it is not the way that violates the commandment thou shalt not kill. But it is in a way the mothers can take you out of that place of loftiness. and bring you down a notch. God knows I needed to be brought down a notch for my somewhat rebellious nature. But on a few occasions I did get into control. Someone at school would impugn the honor of my mother. That did not sit well with me. I would fight for what was right, even in my teenage years. You can make fun of me all you want. But God have mercy on your soul if you say one thing sideways or bad about my mother. But that was before I got saved. Let's go over Ephesians 6, verses 1 through 3 again. Children. Obey your parents in the Lord, 
for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, <coughs> that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. So, it's Mother's Day and honor your mother. Well, can I be honor their mother any? Because in Genesis 3.20, Adam called his wife's name Eve because she was the mother of all women. Eve was the first mother documented, pardon me, in the Holy Scriptures. starting over because by verse and because by 
You know, in the process of this, in verse 18, Abraham said to God, Oh, that Israel might live before thee. And God said, Sarah, thou wife shall bear thee a son of thee. And thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant. And with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall be begin, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham, and that ran to the son, and all that were born in his house, and all that were born in his money. Every man and woman in the bedroom's house and circumcised the flesh of their foreskin in the self same day as God had said unto him. <coughs> Folks, I know my voice is not on today. I don't want to leave with you. Proverbs chapter 31. There are a few verses in Proverbs 31. the whole chapter of 31st Proverbs. I want to give these few verses as a key reference. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. <coughs> she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly in her hands. And it closes out in Proverbs 31. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands, and let her own works.
greater in the gates. My friends usually <coughs> I would lay down Romans Road. But instead I give you these four scriptures to take you down Romans Road. Romans 3.23, Romans 6.23, Romans 5.8, and Romans 10.9.13. I pray each day and every day that you are blessed, as blessed as can be. And it is because God is sorting you out. He is bringing you into His world. And you'll just pray with me these words simply. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I am lost without you. Father, I need you to get me out of this mirror clay and put me on the feet of solid rock as you have me. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus to give me the whole armor, to cleanse me, to fill me as you can see fit. Father, I believe that I am redeemed. Know that Jesus Christ gave his life on the cross so that I may be whole. I believe in our receiving Jesus' name, the Holy Spirit. I believe in our receiving in Jesus' name, and I pray. Amen. If you pray that prayer, welcome to the brotherhood and sisterhood of Christ. I'm sorry this is brief, but it's because my voice is not that strong to rehash what I've done at the very beginning. So I just want to say thank you for watching the walking video today. I'm James Parker's God bless you. God keep you. We'll see you next week. God willing, I might be